Hi everyone, this is Adam Virgil, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get information from a website into Google Sheets. And when updates are made to that website, the updates will also take place in Google Sheets. To do that, we're going to use a function called import HTML. And we're going to use two different data sets here. And in future videos, I'm going to use these data sets to show you how to visualize them if that's something that's interesting to you. But to get the data in, we're going to use a function called import HTML. So we start with an equal sign and go import HTML, open parenthesis. And Google Sheets tells us what we need. The first thing that we need is the URL of the website. The second thing we need to tell Google Sheets is whether what we're trying to get is a table or a list. And the third thing is we need to tell them what index number that table or list is. And this is not intuitive information unless you're looking at the website. And even when you're looking at the website, it might not be intuitive. So you might have to play around a little bit. But for us, what I want to get first is 2020-2021 NBA stats. And I'm going to use basketballreference.com to get it. So what we can see here is we've got a bunch of stuff here. And when we scroll down, here's the data that I want. Uh, it's a list of all the players and their most recent per game stats as of their latest game this season. And I want to create a dashboard where this list is continuously updating after every game so that I'm always using the most recent NBA information. To do that, the first thing that we need to do is get the URL, which is right here. So I'm going to copy that using Control C on my keyboard. Go back into Google Sheets. And notice that the URL is in quotes. So we'll put a quote, paste the URL and another quote, comma. And now we need to figure out, do we want a table or a list? Well, let's see what happens if we do list. So let's go quote list, comma. And now what number list do we want in that website? Let's say we want list number one. And let's close the parentheses and click enter. Now this is what comes back. Now that's not the table that we want, but when we look at this information, let's see what we're getting, because that's an important part of this. We have sports reference. At the end it says create, create account and login. Let's go back to this website. Scroll up to the top. Look, we see sports reference here, and we see login over here. This is the list that we're getting. And let's see what happens when we change that list number to two. So let's go back into Google Sheets, change the index number to two, and click Enter. And now we're getting players, teams, seasons, leaders. If we go back to this website, oh, well here, this looks like we're going to players, teams, seasons, leaders. Here's another list. Great. So hopefully that gives you some context for how this works. And now let's do table because what we want is that table of information, which has rows and columns. So let's go table, and let's change this to number one, and click Enter. And now this looks like the data that we want. Great, this is fantastic. So we have all of our data, um, but what we might want to do here is we might not want all of this data. For example, let's look at this table. What do we have here? We have Oh, okay. Well, the first thing that I notice is that we have this guy, Jarrett Allen. He's on two different teams, different averages, and then he has a tote, which I'm assuming means total because he's been on two different teams. This may cause complications in the future. So maybe I don't want anything that says tote here to, to come into my data set. And then what we also see is we have, oh, another header. And we scroll down another header. Maybe I don't want these headers to come in either. So let's figure out how to get rid of those things. Because if we go to our Google Sheets and we scroll down, yep, there's another header and there's another header. And they may not affect calculations, but I think that this is important to go through because it's a valuable function to know how to do. And if you're familiar with SQL or SQL, um, however you want to pronounce it, then you will have a good idea of what's going on here. Essentially, Google Sheets has a function that you can use that's called Query that lets you use SQL to, to do your calculations instead of using uh, the, the innate Google Sheets functions. And we're going to use that here. So 
we're going to start by going query, open parenthesis. The first thing that query needs is the data that we're getting. And that's okay. All the data that we're getting is all defined in this formula. We want the first table in this website. That's our data. Now we need to do our SQL. So to get information at all, what we do is we do something called select. So let's do a comma and start our query. We start with select, and this is telling SQL or telling Google Sheets what we want to bring back from this data set that we've defined here. And the way that we start this off is with a quote. Let's put a quotation sign. And now we use the word select. So within this data set, we want to select. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put an asterisk or a star. And then we're going to end the quote or end the query and close the parenthesis. A star means everything. So we're saying we want to get some data from this URL, table one of that URL, and we want to get back everything. So if we click enter, we'll see no change. It should be ex pretty much exactly the same. It looks like for whatever reason, the rank um, or the RK here and some of the other, like some of the other headers are, have, have gone blank because it's, they must be treated as values or something. But anyways, we want everything. The next thing that we're going to do is we are going to put some criteria around this because we don't want everything. We want everything except for the headers and except for the word tote in our, in our uh, team column. So we'll start by saying where. And that is telling SQL, okay, we're going to say that we want everything because we want select star where something is true or not true. And the first thing that we wanted was we don't want the header columns. To do that, we can say where call one, because we're just going to look at column one for right now. And we look, it looks like there's a blank value now in each of the header columns. So we can say where call one is greater than zero. And click enter. And that's because all of these other numbers are greater than zero, except for those blanks. And now, if we scroll through, it looks like we got rid of our, of our headers, which is great. So our first step is done. The second step, or the second thing that we want to do, is we don't want to include the team that says tote right here. To do that, we need to know the column number. So this is column one. Now we have one, two, three, four, five. We need to look in column five and say when column five is not equal to tote. Instead of writing another where clause, we can just use and. So select everything where column one is greater than zero and, and we'll say call five, which is our team column, is not equal to, and we will do a quote, T-O-T, -T, quote. And those are just single quotes, not double quotes. So now we want to get everything from this data set where column one is greater than zero to remove the headers, and when column five is not equal to tote to get rid of these totes right here. And if we click enter, now that tote column is gone, and I'm assuming it's gone for all the, all the players, and that's great. And this is just an example for how you can combine query and import HTML to get data from the internet with some criteria around it. And now we'll move on to our other data set. Let's go over to this web data stock tab. We're just going to do the same thing that we did with import HTML, and we're not going to use the query. So how do we do this? We go equals import HTML, open parenthesis, and then we need to get the URL that we're interested in. So let's go to this Wikipedia page here. Uh, it's S&P 500 companies, and this looks like a table, right? So it's a table with all the symbols and some information. And I'm thinking, you know, we can use these symbols. 
um, in, in Google Sheets to, to get some information about um, each of the each of the symbols which is associated with the stock name. So let's go copy this URL. Go back in here. And remember we put it in quote, so we'll quote, paste the URL and the quote, comma. Now do we want a list or a table? Let's quote, get a table, end quote, comma. And now which table do we want? Let's try number one and see what happens. Let's close a parenthesis and click enter. And that looks good to me. This looks like what I, what I was looking for here. So now we have all of this stock information. And in the next video or in another video, I'm going to, one, in this web data NBA, I'm going to show you how to get images for these NBA players using the internet. And then after that, or in a different video, we'll go through this web data stock area and figure out how to get information about these stocks in Google Sheets. So I hope that this video was helpful. If you enjoy the content, please give it a give it a like, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate that. It lets YouTube know that this stuff is helping someone out there. So thank you, and I'll see you in another video.